Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It is the 25th of November, 2022. Going to look at the stakes races on the program from the Big A, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Let's look at the stakes action from Aqueduct races 4, 6, 7, and 8. The fourth race, it is the notebook stakes. It's going for a hundred thousand dollar purse race for two tier state breads. Field of six horses going to the post the distance of ground 1200 meters or six furlongs on the aqueduct main track my top selection here i'm going to go with the three horse acoustic avenue let's go three one four five in the superfecta three one four five super top selection of three horse acoustic av this uh tour cult by mclean's music christoph clement trains Manny Franco gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 17th of October at the Finger Lakes. Six furlongs in the New York Breeders' Paturity. And he won by a nose that day. And he was with the pace setters early on, setting the pace. He got overtaken, but he fought back late to get the victory. A good, gritty performance, earning a 77 buyer. Coming back to New York, uh, coming back down, st- uh, down south to uh, the city today. Um, you know, facing not the world's toughest horses again. I think this uh, state bread could get the job done. Two back in the aspirant at Finger Lakes, Sloppy Seal going five and a half on the 26th September. He won by nine and a half lengths, and again on the front end all throughout, he quickened up nicely. An all around easy race, earning a 76 buyer, jumping up um, uh, quite a few buyer, 15 points from the previous race, which was the funny side at the spa. Six and a half on the mud on the 26th of August. He finished third by eight and a half lengths that day. He got quarter horse out of the gate, and he just didn't have enough speed to keep up. It wasn't his day to win. Got beat by better horses there. And then the 29th of July at Saratoga, six prongs and a state bred main special weight went by seven and a quarter lengths on the front and all throughout he really won quite nicely coming to to here today wouldn't surprise me the one horse star quest it wouldn't surprise me either um his race in the sleepy hollow he just couldn't keep up late but i do think cutting back to six is his preferred trip uh off the pace in his debut he won quite nicely earning a 64 buyer like i said give this horse a shot at three to one in the pick five uh or excuse me the pick six begins with this race but to recap my selection for the fourth from aqueduct it is the notebook let's take the three horse acoustic avenue give Kudos to the one horse star quist. Three one four five super. Three one in your multi race. The featured sixth race now from Aqueduct. It is the Long Island Stakes. It's a Grade Three event going for a three hundred thousand dollar purse. Race for Phillies mares, three year olds and upwards. Only six horses in this year's Long Island going the distance of ground of twenty two hundred meters or mile three eighths on the Aqueduct Inner Turf course. Twenty two hundred meters a mile three eighths here in the Long Island. Years ago, used to be always running a mile and a half. I think this year they brought it back to a mile three eighths, which I think, you know, it's, it's an okay trip, but I, that extra furlong, um, you know, I, I think is more exciting. Uh, but my top selection here, I'm going to go with the number five horse, Californian Queen. Let's go five, four, two, six in the Superfecta. Five, four, two, six Super. Top selection of five horse, California Queen. This five year old mare by Lupe de Vega. Chad Brown trains. Jose Liscano gets the mount. Horse's most recent outing came 24th of September at Aqueduct, mile and the eighth in the Grade Three Athenia, and he finished third by two and a quarter lengths. First start in 11 months. This horse probably need the race. She just kind of stuck. She kind of hit the wall late. You know, just you know, just need the race under her belt. Second off the bench, back to Aqueduct, a mile three eighths, which I think is her preferred trip. I think she'd get the job done, and I think she could win. Two back in the E.P. Taylor Sticks of 2021 at Woodbine, mile and a quarter on the yielding turf course. He finished third by a half length that day, and just couldn't keep up late. I think the wheels are spinning on the wet ground went 120 and four to three quarters that day uh, which is kind of harness racing time but she just couldn't keep up like i said just don't think she got a good handle of the ground and then prior to that, the Boston Spot Saratoga, mile 16th in her turf course, finishing third by a half a length that day a little bit wide but she was gaining late has it won since the um, 13th of June at Belmont mile 16th and optional 80 winning by one and a half lengths closing up from the back of the pack she really put on a show like I said, I think she wants to go a longer trip. She's going to get it today. At 5-2, let's use her. It wouldn't surprise me if the four-horse Rocky Sky gets the job done. Won the way of very nicely, most recently here, on very wet ground on the 2nd of October. And had a very good place before that, going a mile and a half at Saratoga on the turf course. Byers are up to scratch. You know, give this horse a shot at 3-1 to one also. But to recap my selection for the six from Aqueduct, it's featured Long Island. Let's take the five-horse California Queen. Give kudos to the four-horse Rocky Sky. 5-4-2-6 Super. 5-4 in your multi-race. The co-featured 
Seventh race now from Aqueduct. It is the Comely Stakes. It's grade three event going for $175,000 purse. Race for three-year-old fillies. A very, very good field of eight horses going to the turf course. The distance, uh, excuse me, the main track, the distance of ground of 1,800 meters or one lap around it, which is a mile and eighth in circumference. Top selection here. I'm going to go take a shot with the number seven horse here, Falconet. I'm going to go seven, two, four, five in the Superfecta. 7245 Super. Top selection, two, uh, the seven horse Falconet. 3 0 for the bay, Uncle Mo. Tom Pletcher trains. I read Tease Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came 24th September at Churchill, mile 16th in the Seneca uh, oven uh, stakes. And he finished second by a neck that day. And the horse set the pace that day. Very pedestrian to three quarters. She just kind of hit the wall late when the um, the winner, uh, 63 caliber, closed up for nowhere to get the job done at 11 and a half to 1. This horse just ran her heart out. Maybe off the bench need the race hopefully slowing it down here today in new york not the world's toughest race i think the horse get the job done two back in the iowa oaks of prairie meadows mile 16th 9th of july 70 cents a dollar very over bet she finished second by three lengths that day and she just stalked and couldn't get there late she just you know hit the wall but she ran her heart out there but she had also won at 70 cents of the dollar uh, and then prior to the third june of churchill mile and optional 80 went by one quarter lengths on the front end all throughout dueling she went away with it earning a very good victory there and then at, at keeneland mile 16th in the main special weight winning by two from a stupidly wide post stretch she was drifting late but she still got the job done 6 to 1. If they walk her on the front end, it wouldn't surprise me if she goes wire to wire. But it also wouldn't surprise me if this two horse 63 uh, caliber wins also for Tom Amos. Most recently in the Seneca at Churchill, she winning by a neck, she really won quite nicely. And then before then, off a turf at Indiana, she again won quite nicely. At 8 to 1, we'll use her. And also, Kathleen No, she had a great th thrill campaign earlier this year by winning the Goldstream Park Oaks, the Devona Day of the Cash Run, breaking the main here last year. She doesn't have a lot of early pace, but she, has, she really closes up well. At five to uh, at five to two, we'll use her in that late pick six, or the only pick six. But three comedy selection for the seven from Aqueduct. It is the comedy. Let's take the um, seven horse here, who is Falconet. Give kudos to the two horse sixty three caliber and the four horse Kathleen No seven two four five super seven two four in your multi race. The eighth race now from Aqueduct. It is the Aqueduct Turf Sprint Championship. It's going for a hundred fifty thousand dollar purse. Race for three year olds and upwards. We have a field here of let's see how many horses. Field of sixteen horses entered. Thirteen is an AE. Fourteen through sixteen are also eligible. So only twelve will go to the turf course at the distance of ground of twelve hundred meters or the six furlong trip on the Aqueduct outer turf course. 1,200 meters, six furlongs here on the outer turf course. Portable rails are down, so they'll be running at the true position. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the number six horse, the white du thin white duke. I'm going to go 6957 in the Superfecta. 6957 Super, top selection six horse, thin white duke. Four year old Gelden by Dominus here. David Donk trains. Jose Ortiz gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 17, uh, 27th of October at Aqueduct. Six furlongs out of turf course, an option six two claimer. Went by a half a length that day. He sat back early after a horrible getting, beginning where he got bumped out of it a little bit wide, but he got there in the nick of time. Back, back with Lasix. It was a very good confidence builder. Refreshing again back to Aqueduct today where he's run very well in the past. I think he really run a good race. Two back in the Belmont Turf Sprint Championship. Six furlongs here at Aqueduct on the 1st of October. He saw a very wet going which cost him. He finished 5th by 7 three quarter lengths and he just never was really comfortable. Never got out of the gate well. I don't think he liked the going there. And then before then the lucky coin at Saratoga. Five and a half on the melon. Winning by nose. Getting there in the nick of time. A little bit wide. It was an all around good race there. And had a very good third place finish behind uh, Golden Pal and, and True Valor in the Troy at Saratoga going five and a half. Finished third by neck. <laughs> like I said closed up well earning a 99 buyer one of the best race for him even in defeat this year um like i said likes running here locally um you know give this horse a shot here at eight to one i think you also have to give a shot to the nine horse here gear jockey for george arnold uh most recently the woodford of keeneland off the bench finished fourth by two lengths where he just had a little bit of a wide trip which cost him second off facing not the world's toughest horses at nine to two if he could run a race like he did a quarter of the race like he ran in the um in the turf sprint at churchill earlier this year or the shaker town quarter of that race could definitely win against these horses training well keeneland we'll use this horse in that pick four or pick six but to recap my selection for the eighth race from aqueduct it's the aqueduct turf Ch sprint championship let's take the six horse thin white duke give kudos to the nine horse gear jockey six nine five seven super six nine in your multi-race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody